Hi, good afternoon. My name is Simon Kroom, and I work for Storage OS. I'd like to talk about benchmarking storage and the lessons we've learned while developing our container storage solution. Most of what I'll talk about should apply whether you're benchmarking storage solutions or your own applications. So firstly, why do we benchmark? It's to understand system, system behavior, not just when the system's behaving normally, but also when it's under load. We also want to understand our system, how our system behaves when it's failing and also recovering. So for example, if you've got a replica that's, that's rebuilding, you need to know how that affects the performance of your application as a whole. We also want to target specific use cases. So we target running databases and containers, so performance is critical for us. We also, we also want to make comparisons uh, between different hardware deployments and also running on bare metal. So I'll talk about two types of tests. So synthetic tests target a particular activity and are very useful in determining baselines. They're typically very easy to run and repeatable. So some examples of this are running DD. So DD is very good at testing sequential access. And FIO can be configured to, uh, to test uh, random reads and writes. So perhaps, um, so the SPC tests uh, attempt to approximate sort of more real world usage. Um, they can be interesting, but they're also misused. Uh, they're also very, very expensive to participate in. So be careful when a vendor gives you some SPC benchmark tests. Um, what we found most useful uh, with synthetic tests is developer feedback. We use them to t target specific algorithms so that developers get instant feedback on their code changes. Here we're testing several of our core algorithms like deduplication, encryption, and compression. Um, uh, it's important to note that it doesn't matter what sort of hardware you're running on as long as it's consistent. So these were just run on uh, commodity desktops. It's as, so long as you're comparing apples to apples, that's all that matters. Uh, it's also important to automate your tests. So um, we incorporate a cut down version of our benchmarks into our build process. So this is our standard product build pipeline that we use. Um, it also lets us compare performance across branches. So uh, the build fails if any of the benchmark results are abnormal. Uh, application level tests are more real world and, and are applicable to, to end users. So you want to know what solution makes your application run the fastest and what effect tweaking some of the configuration knobs has. Since we can't test everybody's workloads, we tend to use database, uh, standard de database uh, benchmarks. Uh, ideally, you'd have your own test that uh, simulates your own application's behavior. We've been using per Percona and Prometheus internally and can highly recommend them. Uh, Vadim is talking about his uh, um, Percona's dashboards tomorrow. I, uh, I think that'll be a great talk to go to. Um, so this should all be obvious, but um, I'll, I'll just recap. Uh, probably the most important thing that we've learned is to automate everything, which should be uh, well understood. Um, but also to test on busy systems and failing systems. It's really important to know how your system behaves under those conditions. Um, that's all I've got, so thanks very much for listening, and if you'd like to uh, talk to me, um, feel free.